This came about uh, the 2007 season uh, when I was with Golden State. Uh, like after the All-Star break, we were about 16, 17 games out, and we were just talking about like, what if we made the playoffs? You know, it was me, Baron Davis, and Stephen Jackson. And uh, you know, I said something like, "I'll get a mohawk." I'm like, I'm never thinking, you know, we had a hell of a run to make the playoffs. So we ended up making the playoffs. First day uh, before the playoffs, I get the haircut, and I'm like, "What did I do?" You know, I'm looking at myself like, oh, "I never had no different kind of haircut." So uh, you know, I drove up to Sacramento. And I showed my mom, and I was just like, I really want to just cut it off. She's like, no, I like it on you. I was like, you do? She's like, no, I love it. So, I, you know, I stuck with it. Um, shortly after that season, I lost my mom to cancer. Yeah. So, I really, it's just, I, I do it every year. We, I'm in the playoffs to kind of honor her. Um, I have a, a foundation, Athletes First Cancer. We started in 2008. Okay. And, uh, you know, obviously, because I lost my mom. And, uh, you know, our goal is to preventative, preventative care, preventative screening. Um, this year our goal is to buy uh, mono, uh, mobile screening units and travel up and down uh, California and uh, provide free screening for people who can't afford it. You know, one thing I wanted to do was I know coming to L.A., you know, people are going to see me with the mall like, oh, he's Hollywood, he's <laughs> this, he's that, and, and, it, and it's much deeper for that than me. Um, like I said, I, I hated it initially when I got it, and uh, my mom loved it, and she talked me into keeping it, and then I really started to like it. That's not the Wakers. Yeah, that's just basketball. That's not the Wakers. And, uh, I met Matt when uh, right before his mom got sick, and uh, I had just lost my mom uh, in uh, 2005 to cancer. And uh, it was a bond connected beyond the haircut. Uh, I introduced him to my spiritual leader for some guidance and. Uh, words of comfort as he was going through the transition with his mom and uh, I just became his barber no matter where he was at he would call me and need the haircut I was in place uh, coming it's always a pleasure to come and see uh, my customer as well as my friend right <laughs> you know the Bay Area was buzzing the Warriors was winning and man when we got to the game bro to see how uh, many people picked up on it, you know, and it was uh, public about his mom's sickness, you know, and folk knew it and see the 22s in their head and, and the Mohawks and, man, it became really like something. My Facebook would get uh, inbox after inbox. Let me get that, the Matt Barnes uh, Mohawk, and Man, it was it was it was it was real fiery. I was having people coming from as far as Stockton, bro, to come and get come and get a haircut. Right. Once they found out that I was his barber, I put the haircut on Facebook and it just went crazy. Hey, dudes! Come look at Daddy's haircut. Look at Daddy's look at Daddy's haircut. <laughs> come touch it. Look at Daddy's haircut. You want to touch it? <laughs> you want a haircut like that? Yeah. You want a haircut? Yeah. No or yes? It, it makes me smile more now when I just think about the haircut. You know, knowing that she, like I said, knowing that she loved the haircut and you know was a part of that experience with us. And uh, you know, dying shortly after. You know, it's basically one of her final memories of me playing. So um, you know, it just makes me smile a lot more.